Hi everyone, this is Jonathan McDonald here from the Information Lab. Uh, just recording a quick video because I've noticed that quite a few folks are just get a little bit confused when they're trying to use tab command or the REST API to interact with their Tableau server that has been configured for uh, SAML authentication. So if your Tableau server is using something like um, Microsoft uh, 365 authentication or Okta or one login or well there's a whole different bunch of SAML providers out there then uh, you might find it's a little bit difficult to, to get tab command working and I'm going to show you just the ins and outs of, of how that um, how that works and how you can get around it so um, I've set up a just a little demonstration server uh, it's a, and a desktop environment as well um, and this server uses SAML authentication. It, it's gonna, I'm gonna type in the address of the server, which is server.tableau.local. And uh, what you'll notice is as soon as I hit enter, it's gonna forward us to Okta, um, where we're gonna do our authentication. Uh, I'm just gonna jump over this little HTTPS error. And now we get to Okta, and I'm gonna log into Okta using my email address. And my password, and these these are my credentials to log into Okta. Uh, once we're signed into Okta, you'll see that Okta checks that my credentials are valid and passes me back to Tableau Server and logs me in. So I, I'm logged in as myself now, Jonathan McDonald, uh, and I'm a server administrator. So that's great. Um, what I want to do now, actually, is I want to add a new account. And I want to use this account, this new account, to interact with the server using tab command. So let's go ahead and click on add users. I'm going to add a new user. I'm going to give this user a username, tableau underscore admin. And a display name, we can just call this our tableau service account. And what you'll notice here is that there's no option to give this account a password. Uh, and that's tableau server recognizing that um, SAML authentication has been configured. Uh, the authentication is happening um, through a third party. It's being passed off and handed off to Okta instead. So Tableau server is smart enough to go, you know what, I don't need to know uh, a password. I don't need to record a password for this user uh, locally in within Tableau server. So um, the last thing I'll do is I'll, I'll give this account server administrator rights because we're going get, to get it to do some maybe some more advanced things in tab command. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to head and click add user. And there we go. Now, um, that user is now being added. Uh, I'm going to go back to my Okta uh, admin dashboard. So we're just going to go into Okta here. We're going to log into the admin panel. Uh, what I'll show you here is basically um, we've got just one application set up in Okta, and that's our Tableau server. Um, this application is allowing three users to log into the Tableau server. Uh, here is my account. Uh, we've got Pablo's account here as well. And we've got a third account, TS Admin. So essentially what's going to happen is someone, uh, to this TS Admin user will uh, authenticate in Okta using this uh, identity um, but when they go to when they get passed back to the tableau server once octo authenticates their credentials and passes them back to the server they'll actually be logged into the tableau server using this account the tableau underscore admin account which is the one we just created so uh, i kind of skipped ahead and added this user uh, before the video just to make life easier Right, so let's go ahead and this time we will try and authenticate um, to our Tableau server using this new account. So um, uh, go, go ahead and close these windows. Open up, uh, let's just open up a different browser this time. And this time we're going to go to server.tableau.local. Oh, we're not going to the admin interface. We're going straight to the server itself. And instead of logging in with this account, I'm going to log in with 
tsadmanscompany.com. And you can see that we get signed in to Okta and we get handed back to the Tableau server. And you can see that we're actually logged in using this account. Okay, great stuff. So, how do we use tab command uh, when we need to use tab command with this account? So, I've got tab command installed on this machine. I've just navigated to the tab command um, installation folder. So, if I type in tab command here, you can see that we're getting some help outputs, so you know you're in the right place to run the commands. So I'll just clear the screen now, and let's try tab command login, dash s, where we specify the name of the server that we want to log into, dash u, this is where we put the username that we want to authenticate as. And when you're using uh, HTTPS on your Tableau server, you want to uh, you want to add this little switch to the end of every single tab command um, line that you wanna you wanna use. This just basically says, you know what, don't bother trying to verify this certificate. We're using the command line here, so so ignore that for now. Uh, so we get some output, we get prompted to add a password. What password do we choose? I, I'm guessing, well, the only password that we know for this user is is the one that we typed into Okta for the tsadmins at company.com identity. So I'm going to type in that one, I guess. Is that it? No, it's uh, uh, we get a not authorized uh, and valid username or password. And the reason here is that, um, as you will remember, when we added this account, we weren't prompted to create a password for it on the server itself. So tab command does not support passing authentication to SAML in this case, Okta, authenticating in Okta and then coming back and signing you in. Tab command requires that the account has a local password set on the server. And if your Tableau server is already being configured for SAML authentication, then you'll see that when you create a new account, it just doesn't have one. So um, we can go into here. The, the workaround here is obviously we need to set a password for this account. Now, if I just click change password, uh, while I'm logged in as Tableau admin, it's going to prompt me to enter the current password. But you know what? There isn't one. So it doesn't matter what I type in here. I just don't get that save option. I can't leave this null. If I put some gobbledygook in here and click save, it says the old password is incorrect. So we're a little bit stuck. Um, the way around this is to log in as a different user. This different user needs to be a server administrator, and we're going to we're going to change the password from that user instead. So let's close this window. Let's go back to Internet Explorer. Let's go back and log into our server again. And this time I'm going to log back in as myself. And I'm going to go to Users. I'm going to go to our Tableau underscore admin account, and that's settings, and I'm going to change the password. So I'll just give this a simple password, Tableau123, and save. Now let's see what happens in tab command. So I'm going to come up, uh, just rerun that same command that I ran before, hit enter, type in that password again, Tableau123 and we successfully signed in. So I hope that's useful. Uh, just a quick little tip to show you how you can uh, bypass SAML authentication when uh, you need to interact with the tab command or, or the REST API. This, this, the same principle applies when you're using the REST API as well. Thanks very much for your time. Thanks for listening and take care.